So looking at the idea of buddy packing the aging CRZ lithium pack. So this is another UK CRZ OEM lithium pack on the bench. I've just checked the voltage. It's uh, the cells are all about 3.25 volts, so it's quite low state of charge. Doesn't need charging up. However, what I was interested in initially was to see whether we could access. Uh, the right parts of the battery without having to take it all out of the car, remove all the interior trim, etc, etc, which I really didn't want to do uh, to my nice uh, car. So what you can do is you can just take the cover off uh, and by just having a look around I've managed to find out that the uh, main positive uh, from the battery is down here. So when the switch is in the on position, which it obviously normally always is, then this is live from the positive of the battery and the negative from the battery is here. And these two wires don't pass through the current sensor or, or any of the other sensing, so the car won't know about any power we're feeding in at these points or power we're taking out at these points uh, because it won't be passing through the current sensor. Um, so we may be able to have a buddy pack which discharges into the uh, lithium pack at a constant rate. Um, and we may have, be able to have a pack which absorbs power, but we'll have to see about that side of it. Certainly what we should, would be able to do is have a, a quite a big pack which you could charge up overnight and then it could discharge potentially into these two points here. And it would basically keep the pack uh, completely filled up uh, if we set it to cut off at whatever time. It would be controlled with a relay a stroke um, MOSFET or something like that to chop the power and basically we control the power going into these two points. So we have access to the positive and we have access to the negative without taking the battery out of the car. So I can add an Anderson connector onto there uh, just for testing <coughs> on my own car without having to take all the trim out, which I wasn't going to do. Uh, and then we'll go do some more testing from there. But the car won't sense it, won't sense the current at that point because it's before the battery current sensors. So it means that we can put power into that point. And the, the only thing, the only way the car will know about it is the fact that the voltages will slowly rise of the cells, of course, as they uh, charge up. And um, hopefully then that will equate to an increase in uh, the usable capacity and the state of charge. So we'll be able to see if we can just use a simple body pack. So that's what I'm looking at at the moment.